Jason, welcome back. How's it Thank feel you. To, to have the, the night you had shooting wise and to have the kind of return to form for you, I guess? It feels good. Um, I was glad I was able to help the team win, um, especially with it being Bedlam and all. So I felt good. I felt like my teammates put me in a good position to get my shots off. And yeah, I was just happy to get the win. Coach talked all about, you know, throughout these games that your confidence level, he said tonight you're really seeking your shot. You're, you're looking to get open. You had that confidence back. Do you think that's what was, was the difference tonight? Yeah, I think so. I think I need to be more aggressive sometimes. And I think tonight I kind of showed what I'm more capable of. And I need to keep it at that level for the remainder of conference. I mean, how, how much easier was it now that tonight you could swing out to her and, and you know, she'd be able to get that shot and, and you know, because she was open for the first time in a while that she was actually getting those open shots. Yeah, it's great to have Jaden back. I love playing with Jaden. She's fun to play with. She always tries really hard. She hustles. So, And tonight her shot was on, and I'm really happy for her. Thanks. Vivian, how did you go? Vivian, talk just a little bit about Bedlam and your experience. Oh, uh, well, obviously it was my first Bedlam, so it was I really enjoyed the atmosphere. You know, the, the crowd was really into it, and I think that was probably the best part of it was just having the crowd there and I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Was it what you expected? More than you expected? It was, pr it was pretty much what I expected. Okay. Pretty much what I expected. Right. Yep. How did it feel tonight? Did you tell them about it? We kind of talked about it in the yeah. locker room as a group. Um, I'm from Oklahoma, obviously, so I, I kind of know already what it is without even having to play in it. So we kind of talked about it a little bit. Maybe not so only playing in your first battle, you scored your career high. How did that feel? Oh, that's great. I mean, uh, honestly, I didn't know I had that many points. I was just happy that we got the win. I think we played really well as a team uh, for the first time in a while, so I'm really happy with how we came out and played tonight. Vivian, what were you seeing in OU's defensive scheme that allowed for a lot of scoring opportunities tonight? Um, I think that our wings are quicker than they are, so um, I think that allowed for a lot of drives for us from the outside, drives and kicks to Jaden and uh, Jamie and things like that. So I think that was kind of our game plan is to attack the wings. Do you guys think shot fakes were more effective tonight? It was like, especially Jay Mack, you hit a couple, they were flying by you, and you got a couple, Vivian, you got a couple defenders in the air and were able to drive. Do you think that was effect, more effective than against other teams or kind of the same? Well, I think when Jaden like when Jaden hits all those threes, they got to do something. They can't just play the way they have been playing, especially when she hits like three in a row. So they had to change something up, and the shot fake was working well. What did y'all think about Tosh and Miriam's games tonight? They seemed to have some really clutch minutes, even though it didn't really reflect on the stat line. They had some minutes that showed beyond the, the stat line. I told somebody earlier, I think when Miriam got the and one in the first half, I almost jumped out of my pants. I was so excited for her, and it really gave us a boost as a team to go down there and get another stop and come back. So she did really well. And what Tosh's three there late to end that run? Yeah. Yeah, Tasha hit. A clutch three. And then she also had one it roamed out on her. But Tasha's three, when she knocked that down, it obviously was another boost, and it, it made us go even more. She also had some really good rebounds. She did. Really Coach good. talked about your guys wanting to build, and he pushes. You know, rebounding is the most important uh, thing. Did you guys feel that you, you know, you out-rebounded them by, like, eight tonight? Do you feel like you had a dominant night on the glass? It certainly you know, I think we itself. did. I think we blocked out really well tonight, which is something we haven't been extremely successful at. But we worked on a lot in practice, and I think that we did a good job on it tonight. What What does it do for you when when the bigs are playing well, like like they were, and contributing in a lot of different ways? So. It makes it easier for yeah. the outside players, definitely. It, it opens everything else up. Mm -hmm. So it, with their presence, it makes it easier on Vivian. It makes it easier on Braxton, me, Jamie. I mean, it makes it easier on everybody when they have good when they have a good night. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Really proud of our group. Uh, this is a game that uh, both teams really needed, and uh, I thought both teams played really hard and some really good players stepped up and made big plays and um, proud of our kid. I don't like falling behind 12 to 2 and then letting them start on a 10-0 run in the second half, but uh, we've done that quite a bit this year, but our kids uh, persevered and found a way to play through that and and uh, you know when you shoot good free throws and you're aggressive and you get to the line 
and go 22 for 26, you got a chance to win games. And uh, some kids made some big plays. Obvious uh, Viv was was special again tonight. Uh, I thought Merriam stepped up and did some really, really good things. And, uh, you know, I know it was a big game for Jaden Hobbs being an Oklahoma kid uh, playing in a Bedlam game. But uh, Cassie DeLapp did a great job on the boards. We, we had a, a lot more people step up and make different types of contributions tonight. But uh, very, a much needed win and very happy for our kids. Coach, like you mentioned, you spotted on that 12 too, but persevered. And part of the reason was Jaden having those open shots and getting those. What do you think, obviously, gets you still going with the kid, but first big offensive night she's had pretty much all year? Well, the way she got her shots is we defended really well there for a while and got out in transition, and she got to spot up. and. People did a good job of finding her, but uh, I thought she had a shoot first mentality tonight. Uh, uh, for a long time, she's kind of kind of looked and should I or shouldn't I, and then she's covered. So I really liked her mentality tonight that uh, I'm going to seek my shot. Uh, I'm going to look for it immediately. And after she hit a couple, she had a nice head fake a couple times and people flew by her. Uh, she, she's one that we need to score the basketball. and. Uh, uh, I thought she was really ready to play, and like I said, she was seeking her shot. Coach, how dangerous is this team when you get three, four scorers that can contribute like you had tonight? You know, it, it, it helps us tremendously, but what helps us is those ones that are chipping in eight and nine, and we haven't had that. We've had two and four, and that makes a big difference uh, for our you know, our kids that haven't scored a lot of points to step up. And Tasha got eight. I think Jamie got eight. You know, uh, Braxton had a tough shooting night, but uh, we need her to take a lot of shots, as we do Viv. And uh, those other kids stepping up, Miriam getting seven. Those, those, those players stepping up and getting seven, eight, nine was the difference in the ballgame. You know, it was just about every offensive board you got. You scored with 22 to eight on second chance points. What do you think about your effort and then execution after getting the offense? Well, we, we talked about that because we got destroyed on the boards at TCU and second chance points and their second chance opportunities were a huge factor in the game. And, uh, you know, I've told our players that, uh, you know, you look at the stat line and the team that usually wins the rebound battle wins the game. It's, it's to me, it's the most important stat there is. And we had a lot of kids step up and, and uh, Tosh did a good job on the board. But uh, just getting the ball and finding somebody at the three line or securing an, an extra possession was huge for us. And uh, we've been down a little bit in that area this year. But for years, we've always put a high emphasis on offensive rebounding. And it came back a little bit tonight. Coach, you talked about how Jane had his shoe first mentality. Do you think Bedlam played a big part of that? I don't think there's any question. I, you know, I could. I could see uh, the last couple days, you know, she had a little different look in her eye and uh, she stabilized us. We got down 12 to 2. She came in the game. We made a run. Every time she came in the game, something positive happened tonight. So uh, proud of her. Uh, she needs to continue to do that. And uh, even if you don't get a shot off, if you're seeking your shot, you stretch the defense and you make some things happen. And. Uh, uh, we need that, her to continue that the rest of the year. What did you see from Vivian? Why, why was this such a big night for her? Well, Vivian, Vivian's a, a great player, and I thought her movement without the basketball was really good tonight. And the spots that she picked to curl into and and find openings, I didn't do a good and I, I didn't do a, a good enough job of getting her the ball in the second half in rhythm. But uh, she stepped up and made some huge plays in the second half. And when she gets to the free throw line 10 to 12 times, her, her scoring and her game goes up. Very, very good free throw shooter and uh, a young lady that could score at three levels. And, and what I mean by that, she shoots the three. She's got a great in intermediate game. And then she can take you off the dribble as well. So uh, big game. But we had kids uh, do a good job for screening for her and getting her the ball in rhythm at the right time. What were some of the things that you talked to your players about when you took that early timeout? You know, just calm down. And, and uh, I, I had us in the wrong offense, too. You know, we switched switch offenses and opened up the floor a little bit. And 
made that adjustment. And, uh, you know, I don't think it's anything they're real shocked in. We've done that all year long, and I'm not bragging about it, not proud of it that, that you, ju you fall behind. But uh, uh, they've come back that way. But we just got to – we got to – get better to start games and start second halves because we dig ourselves a big hole. Just after a four-game losing streak, do you think this is going to help a rivalry win like this going down to Texas Tech and get that consistency we talked about before having this kind of team? I hope so, brother. I hope so. You know, that that uh, this is something that you can build off. Uh, uh, you know, like I said, going into this, both teams needed a win. Both teams were reeling a little bit. And, and uh it's it's always nice to get a win. It's really nice to get a Bedlam win, and and uh, appreciate our fan base for being out on a late game. Jay, Miriam Gano seems to be making some progress each and every game. It just seems like she's become becoming more acclimated to the pace of the game and to the competition of the game. Is that? The way you see it? No, I agree. It, it it always there's always an adjustment period for freshman players, and there's an adjustment for JC players coming in too. The speed of the game, uh, all the different things that you run. Uh, but she's such an incredible kid. She the game is important to her. Her teammates are important to her, and just really happy for her to to have some success because. She's uh, she's one of the nicest young ladies I've ever been around. Forty-one years of coaching, so, and that's the best thing you could say about anybody. She's she's an incredible young lady. I thought seven uh, seven points and six rebounds was a big night for her. Big, big night. night. What was it? Ten minutes. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's it. I take that every night. It's a huge night, and and uh, she was she was fired up. She told me to shoot around. She was ready to play tonight, and. Uh, Again, another kid that stepped up and, and made that contribution, something that she can build on for the future and, and build her confidence. Coach, it was a lot of your players' first taste of Bedlam. So how did it feel to see them play uh, so well in a rivalry game, like especially Vivian with a new career high? It, uh, you try to tell them what it's like, but I think you've got to experience it and to, to fully understand what it's about. and. And, uh, you know, I don't pretend, you know, a lot of people will say uh, it's another game, it's one out of 18 or it's two out of 18. That's not embracing rivalries. That's not embracing uh, what the spirit of the game is about. This is a huge game for us. It will always be as long as I'm here. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what college athletics is about. Michigan, Ohio State, OU, O State. Uh, that's that's what it's all about. Jim, why two games with Oklahoma late in the season? Do is it just that's just the way it is? They changed that a few years ago, Jay, and I don't know why. You know, the, you turn around and you play somebody quick again, and that's just the way the schedule falls. So we can't control it, but it's it's a quick turnaround. We're we're in a tough stretch right now. We we turn around and go to Lubbock, and then have a quick turnover of Texas here on Tuesday, and. It's been a while since our kids have had a day off, so we're going to have to be smart about how we, we practice and need to be very efficient and, and uh, try to keep some kids rested. Latasha was another one that, that came through with some, some really big plays tonight, especially in that, that run after Jaden hit those two threes in the fourth. Hit a big three, got some putbacks for us. Uh, need to handle the ball a little better on the press, but uh, did some good things. And the, the, the three that she hit late was – was really, really huge because we were struggling at that point. But I uh, liked the way she got on the boards. And, and, and if she didn't get a bucket, she got it and kicked it out to somebody else and gave us an extra possession. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.